we have the pleasure of speaking with Robert Green, who directed the award-winning Kate Plays Christine. Thank you for coming on to the show. Happy to be here. Awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to start off asking you what the movie, can you just give a brief, brief description of what the movie was about? Uh, so the movie follows uh, the actress Caitlin Scheel, who's an old friend of mine, and she's starred in things, or she's been in things like House of Cards and a bunch of uh, indie, indie, indie films. Um, as she's preparing to play the role of a woman named Christine Chubbuck, who, was, who went on air uh, in 1974 and committed suicide live on air after giving a sort of political speech about blood and guts television. Um, so the film is sort of documenting her process, and, and we sort of see how how basically she's on we're as filmmakers and Kate as the actor is sort of unable to tell the story in the end. All right, awesome. Like can you tell me like when you like decided to get into Christine's story? Like what like how did that how did it Yeah, it was about that? 10 years ago or so. So, um you were probably like 9 years old. <laughs> um and it it was uh just a friend of mine told me the story and what I was immediately struck by was not only the the horrible sort of sensational aspect of the story, but also my own feelings about it and how I didn't feel comfortable even, I wanted to make a film about it. This was about four or five years before I made my first feature film. And I really, I, of course I was attracted to that aspect of it, but then I was questioning my own attraction to it at the same time. And that's what sort of stuck around for nine years or so until um, I made a film called Actress, uh, which was here at True False in 2014 um, and that film is also f a documentary about an actor and with that I sort of figured out this way into the story okay. where the film becomes less about Christine in a sense and more about storytelling it in a way. So, yeah, awesome. Yeah. I actually, when I saw it I stayed after for the Q&A and I know that you were saying that um, it's less of a documentary and like you called it more of a nonfiction film. It, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, well, that's just, you know, documentary is so loaded a term. Right. I mean, just documentary is like journalism, the word. Yeah. Uh, where it can mean whatever you want it to mean, right, sort right. of. Uh, it can mean a million things. And so many people think documentary, they think, you know, it's sort of educational or it's like you have to take <laughs> your vegetables to watch the documentary. So right. you could say nonfiction just because that has some literary nonfiction has like more styles that can sort of be considered nonfiction. So that's one of the words we use to describe it, but it's also, it's just another dumb word. Right. Even, you know, it's a movie. Yeah. How did you come to that? Like, cause I know that you were struggling how to tell Christine's um, story. How did you get to like your realization where you're like, okay, I'm going to tell it this way. Like this is how I'm going to. Well, it, it, the, the title of the movie came with the concept. So it's a very conceptual movie in a sense, because it, within the movie, there's this, movie within a movie yeah but that's all and it's all sort of false it's like a uh, i kind of think of it as like a construct that's sort of fictional mm -hmm. but within that fictional construct we're playing where it's a real documentary right. so it's so it's like it, it's sort of a strange way to do that but i would say the truth is is that that's how actually all documentaries are mm -hmm. so whenever you're whenever you're deciding to tell a story not all documentaries but most documentaries you're creating a sort of fictional conceit and within that, you're doing your best to tell the truth. And then we did the same thing. Right. Okay. That's awesome. I actually, um, so I kind of described Kate as like kind of the detective in the story. Mm -hmm. How do you, how long did it take you guys to like gather all the information that she like got in the... Well, I've been, pr once I figured out, once Kate plays Christine, the idea, the concept came with, like I said, with the title and I called up Kate and she could do it. And she's a very old friend of mine and our schedules happened to match so she could make it happen. Right. Um, she, uh, I spent a year sort of preparing for this, basically a very short time frame of shooting. So we were only in Sarasota for three weeks and we probably had three or four of the interviews lined up and then everything else that we discovered was discovered in this very, very tight time frame. But, um, but we had done a lot of preparation to get us to that point. And we also trusted each other a lot. But, but a lot of what you see, we had no idea going, including the end of the film, we had no idea going into it that that's where the film was going to go. That's awesome. So I like, mean, the concept was set, but what we discovered in a documentary sense was all discovered. Wow, that's great, because I know that after, the, like, during the Q&A, you said that you did actually find the person that had the video of the event. Yeah. And I thought it was interesting, because you were saying, like, it would defeat the purpose of the movie to put it in the documentary. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 mean, I don't want to spoil the movie, but that's not, <laughs> but that's not what the goal was right, was right. ever to show that footage right. um, 
but I mean, at the same time, uh, it's understandable that people would want would you know would think that that's where we're going. Yeah. You know? And we kind of want to keep that mystery. Yeah. So I know that you won an award at Sundance. Um, how was that experience? Can you I mean, I, I I've edited two films that have been to Sundance. So this but this was the first time I had directed a film that mm -hmm. went to Sundance. Sundance is insane. It's like <laughs> True False is like the most lovely festival to be at in every way because right. you're you just you have like 35 40 films mm -hmm. all the filmmakers are in town everyone goes to the same parties everyone is together all the time and all the conversations are really meaningful it's like it's sort of the nature of true false it's the nature of the programming it's columbia it's the university it's all of it sort of creates this perfect storm of like great have you know time together right. sundance is where you walk down the street and like you can get 25 free things that you don't want like shoved in your face and people <laughs> want you to sign like things and not like my autograph but like yeah. to get a free fake thing and and it's like and then you see like then you see like filmmakers that you don't really like getting out of limos and like it's it's a weird yeah that's kind of weird because like true false is like way more like condensed yeah. and like personal but, but having said that like I kind of really love being at Sundance because right. it's 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 really exciting it's really it's actually genuinely exciting because cool. you see you're seeing all these films for the first time you're also part of other people seeing your film for the first time and there's and the hype stuff can be you can be cynical about the hype stuff so I did you know two or three days straight of interviews wow. with all these people and got my photo taken which is <laughs> weird. Um, or you could be like this is really fun and, and you could have fun with it and I I happen to think that I made a very weird uh, kind of radical movie and that got into Sundance that's kind of better than maybe feeling like I sold out or something and got in Sundance <laughs> yeah. that way. So No, that's awesome. That sounds cool. Um, so I know that you've directed and wrote some other films in the past. How do you think that Kate Plays Christine differ from those films or like or are similar? Like what do you think? Well I, I, I did I did take a writing credit, but I think writing the reason why I make documentaries in the first place is because I don't like to write. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like to write screenplays. I like to write like criticism and other things like that. But I don't like to write Screenplays that they make me uh, break out in hives because <laughs> they're ridiculous. But um, I, it's just an extension of what I've been doing for a while. Actually, I think it's uh, it's the first time I had a budget, which mm -hmm. was you know helpful. Um, right. But I mean, I've I've been interested in this idea of the the tensions between performance and and doc documentary and and what that really means and how it sort of shows that we're all performing on, to some extent or another. And that's been going on for like four films now. And so. This is pretty much the end of that story in some ways. I don't really know what happens next, but I know that like I can't push any further. I don't think necessarily than what we've already done here. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and of course. listening to me and <laughs> talking uh, and stuff. I enjoyed questions. the movie. Ama like it was amazing. Um, to all of you watching at home, be sure to keep an eye out for Kate Plays Christine. Mm -hmm.